the Christmas special of the Oxide Overdrive, we're joined by a poet, comedian, and larger than life radio star. But most importantly, he's all off Nevermind the Buzz Corp, who doesn't actually look like a troll. It's Mr. Phil Jupiter, everybody! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm, let me hear my woo as well. I demand to woo. Hey! So welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. And uh, welcome to Oxford. So, uh, what brings you to our wonderful city? Uh, I'm doing my radio show. I'm stealing your radio station, mm -hmm. hijacking it for three hours uh, on a Friday morning to do my radio show. Uh, because uh, I miss touring. And when you do a radio show, you don't get to do stand-up. So what you do get to do is kind of travel around the country and hassle students. Uh, but in a more organisational fashion than a, than a stand-up comedy tour. So, yeah, I, uh, that's what I do. Is, uh, uh, once a month we go to various... Uh, Universities up and down the country, and we uh, we uh, we go into their radio stations, and we we link up with uh, with them down in London. And we do the show from uh, from a college, hence us being at Oxford, Oxide. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Looking forward to being at the broadcast tomorrow. Well, uh, you must behave yourself. I will do. I will do. BBC rules tomorrow. BBC rules. What are those? Um, formal evening wear mm -hmm. uh, at all times. Right. Um, no swearing. Oh, no, lots of swearing. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh, that's better than the oxide okay. rules. I don't know if you've ever met Sue Lawley, but uh, there's lots <laughs> of swearing. Lots of swearing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but, but, yeah, no, it's just uh, very much looking forward to having a bit of a, a, a laugh, really. Just, uh, it's nice to nice to travel around. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's get out of the studio. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're an extremely vocal supporter of um, Student Radio. As proved by the letter that you wrote to the chairwell, it was a couple of months ago, I think. I was indeed. I was yeah. indeed asked to, to just to, to, to throw a letter together. Did I swear in the letter? Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I'm did. a bad, yeah. bad man. I'm a bad man. One should be able to sustain debate without resorting to the language of the gutter. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just, some needs must. Needs yeah. must. So what made you to get involved in that? Um, I, was just, I, was, I was asked to write the thing, and I think it's because they'd seen me the Student Radio Awards, yeah. and they knew that I did this thing going up and down the country. Um, you know, doing stuff at student radio stations. I think another thing as well is that, um, it's, uh, you know, student life is something I never experienced personally. Mm. So, you know, my children are about to go to university at some point fairly soon, I would imagine, you know, if they, all things being equal. Um, I think that, that, that getting involved in something like a student radio station shows such a level of commitment from the people that are into it. Um, and it's, it's something, obviously, you know, you get your stoners that want to, you know, just go on air and giggle and do fart jokes and play Grateful Dead records for 20 minutes, but, <laughs> but pretty soon they realise there's actually work involved in doing a, a good yeah. radio show. There is a certain, well, not, work's not the right word, but a real kind of uh, a commitment to the idea, to the notion yeah, of what you're doing, okay. and a loyalty to, to your idea as well, so... Um, I think it's very, to get involved in a student radio station, it's kind of quite an unstudenty thing to do, but they do such good work, and they're such, they seem like such a laugh, yeah. and I'm, you know, um, had I been at university, I'm sure I would have tried to blag into it, yeah. but uh, I never did, <laughs> let's not talk about what I haven't done. No, well, we make up for it now, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you would have given him a job, Alex. Would you have hired me? Yes, that's a very good question. Head of music. I think so. I think That's it's very a generous of, of you. A lot of personality to the station. <laughs> <laughs> um, Say I wasn't on telly, would you hire me? If you were a random forty-four-year-old man coming off the street in Oxford, <laughs> in let's face facts, a fairly average hat, asking for <laughs> it's a cool hat. Asking for asking for you know radio work. Mm. Think carefully now. No telly profile. Would you be rich? Are you God rich? no. Oh. Sure. Would you be rich? <laughs> There's speaks ahead of music, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's the Oxide Way. Who's got the money? <laughs> I'm not <helps>. bloody Jay-Z. <laughs> Uh, the hat's quite pimping. Yeah. Thank you. The hat's <laughs> pimping. That's just, this is anyone listening who's over 30, that's your word for the day. <laughs> pimping. pimping the that's a pimping hat <laughs> that Philip is wearing. One of our jingles at Oxide is pimping the beats to the Oxide Massive. Oh dear God. <laughs> I'd like to, I presume it's not astonishingly geeky. In an RP accent. Yeah. Middle class white <laughs> man that did that. Yes. Yep. White trash. Um, Fiona. Okay. Um, do you believe that student radio is still relevant to like the MySpace generation? Like we've got so much music available at the click of a button. Why should people listen to student radio? I think it's the ideas and the way it's presented. It's that you listen to radio not only for the music. The music is 90% of it. Mm. Great radio.
radio has got the brilliant 10%. Yeah. People like Peely, people like Mark Lamar, yeah. uh, people like Charlie Gillett, you know, Andy Kershaw, people that with the 10% when the music's not on, mm -hmm. don't, uh, they don't patronise you, they don't offend you, mm -hmm. um, they challenge you. You know, uh, you know, offend, what offends me is ignorance on radio, is idiots, you know, and there's just so many of them, and lying on radio, people who come on air in the morning on a breakfast show go, hey, hello, and good morning, and welcome to the show, hey, uh, every day, uh, are liars, I will, I will not, I will, no, Timmy, to, to a certain extent, but no, Timmy, why I would forgive the mallet, is because <laughs> he's done that throughout his life, yeah, and whenever you meet Timmy, mm. he's full on, yeah, he's, he's full on, yeah. so, uh, I, I actually, you know, a grudging respect for someone who lives it yeah. the full way through. He's always on, Mallet. Mm -hmm. There's no off switch for that yeah. first Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, people, you know, a lot of the, you know, the, 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 the commercial radio jocks in the morning. Yeah. It's just mind-numbing stuff. Mm. Yeah. Wogan's so listenable. So Terry, it's just, Terry. that's the best radio probably in this country at the moment, is Terry. It's the most listened to. Because it's just so effortless. Mm. You know, the music, eh, yeah, take it or leave it. Him, best radio there. personality. Yeah. I would <laughs> think he definitely is, definitely. is uh, well, he's, he's in with the jam. I do love Lauren Laverne, but she's on a commercial station. They don't give her enough, you know, yeah, freedom, she's, really. She's presented at Mind of Wiscox. She did present one of the uh, one of the seven shows of shame, yes, yeah. indeed, uh, in our two series ago. 